Friends, today we are making a steampunk mask, as suggested by one of my most fabulous subscribers. Thank you so much to all of you. Now, I made this mask. I am really excited because everything you see on here I made out of readily available plastic containers we have everywhere. Now I pulled those ones out, out of the recycling boxes in my neighborhood. This gear here, here, this is a combination of this one here. And this is a little um, cupcake container. I don't have it anymore. This one here. See, I'll be showing you how you get from here to here to here. Now, I did a whole bunch of things. See, I made... So you can go really crazy because I, fig I, I had all different kinds of shapes. I thought, oh, maybe... Uh, I settled on those ones here because I thought this is, was the most steampunk looking and everything, even those ones here, I got out of, see, this is like here. So look at the containers and see what kind of shape you see in there that you could use. Now the mask here is uh, my base mask number two from the base mask video. And uh, I also covered a part of it here, which just uh, I cut out some shapes uh, from a cereal box and glued that on. And the rivets here are um, from a hole puncher. And uh, so because I figured I'm not going to cover everything, so it looks like you have some metal plates under here. <coughs> and what else? Also, uh, I put in just a regular elastic bands here and I put it in actually too late. I had a hard time uh, making the hole here over the prop. So maybe consider that before you cover everything. Um, and that's about it. Now I'll show you how I made all of this. Now first I'm making a paper pulp. So I'm using a shredded paper here and I am soaking it in hot water for 15 to 20 minutes. Newspaper and egg cartons, of course, also work beautifully. Now you, I am um, blending it in a blender and then drain it for just a couple of minutes and I am ready to fill my first form. Now the challenge here is to get the maximum amount of coverage with least amount of pulp. In other words, make it as thin as possible. Extract as much water as you can, otherwise it will just take too long to dry. <laughs>
friends this is it thank you so much for watching now i noticed i could also wear the mask this way this works too i just have to adjust the elastic a bit there we go either way thank you so much for watching my friends and right here is another story coming up i'll see you soon